how to update outdated WooCommerce template files. In this video session, we're going to see exactly how you should update outdated WooCommerce template files. When you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, press on System Status and scroll down the bottom where it says Templates. Here, simply highlight everything, right-click Copy, and then make a local backup. Because so you know exactly what files need to be updated. Because, depending on your setup, maybe there is only two or three different outdated WooCommerce template files. But in my client's case, there is plenty of different ones, right? So let's go and then see the smartest option to update this. Keep an eye out for this core version. What that means is that is the stable WooCommerce plugin. You need to download that particular version because that's the core version that is working as in it's been approved by the WooCommerce theme, um, team. You can simply search Google Go to wordpress.org depository, download the plugin. You can download the plugin using WooCommerce site as well. But then you need to register it. But remember, the easiest way is to download from wordpress.org. Because there you will have the latest core version, which in this case it's 3.3.3. .3 .3. So once you download the WooCommerce plugin, you can right click and extract because it's zipped folder. And here, what you need to do is look into templates folder. So let's leave this as is because we need to do a couple of housekeeping procedures before we update any file. Log into your web hosting account and browse into wp-content folder in there we have themes folder and here you will see the theme that you're using in my client's case it's flatsome theme now let's do this because this is the smartest way let's right click and press on compress select zip and then just give it some date here 16th march I can name this anything. That's just a backup for me. Let's compress that theme with its entire structure. That means right now I have a backup of the theme before I make any changes. I tend to download the backups just in case, right? Now, what I need to do is browse into the theme folder. Within that, there is a folder called WooCommerce. Let's browse into that. Now, keep an eye on this here. The downloaded WooCommerce plugin that we've downloaded has a folder called Templates. So does the theme on the web server. And we are looking at WooCommerce folder here. That means what I need to do now is say, OK, this is the outdated version of the theme. So now, because I've downloaded the latest WooCommerce, I need to locate this particular file and upload it to the web server. So let's grab archive product. Here, that's the file that needs to be outdated. Before I update it, I show you why the dashboard shows you that. Here it says version 2.00. And that is the case here. So that means WordPress dashboard is pulling that information out. Now, the fact is, I can actually change this to be this right from here. But then that wouldn't be smart. Because if I do that, that's not the way to do it. So what I need to do now is simply override this. Let's actually override it without deleting it. 
Now, before I actually do this, let me show you one more critical insight, just in case you're using a custom WordPress theme. Take a look at what you're seeing on this particular outdated template file and compare it to the one you've downloaded. Okay, let's open this up locally. And here you can see there is a lot of changes that's being made, right? For the latest version. Now, that should say to you, okay, you know what? If that's the case, you need to triple check your entire website and its functionality once you update all the template files because you can see there is just too many different codes being blurted out now. So that means let's upload the correct file, override existing ones and let's select the ones from our local computer which we have downloaded. And that is the template file, usually is within templates folder. And that's the file I want to update. Let's press open. My upload will override the outdated file. Now that's completed, I can right click, press on view, because now I am using the correct version. Now, this is how we're meant to update outdated WooCommerce files. While here, I'll actually update another one just to show you. The cart is also outdated. So now I need to browse into cart, cart.php. That means it's showing me this file is also outdated. So let me update that. Remember, that's an, in a different folder now, right? So now let me upload, override existing files, select cart.php within cart folder. Let's open that up. Now that's also being updated. What you need to do then is just go through each and every one outdated template files. Once you make all the updates, what you can do is press on system status page again and then double check template files as you can see in our case we've just updated two particular outdated template files and now what i need to do is go through each and every one of them once everything is updated i need to go back to the website and triple check everything in terms of you know how you're adding things to products as in how your customers will add things to cart, how the checkout process will work, and so on. Because this is an important WooCommerce maintenance procedure. Once again, to wrap it up, simply press on system status, copy or take a screenshot of the outdated template files, log into web hosting and find the themes folder, right click press on compress so you have a backup download it and just remember this if something goes wrong you can always revert back the old template files till you work out if something goes wrong makes sense so you've checked everything once you update it you found something didn't work because that could happen and then you say okay you know what something is not correct so you revert back to the outdated template file and then work out what went wrong and then re-update. But at the end of the day, if you're just using a default theme, modern WordPress theme, and you have not customized your WordPress theme, then updating process will be just a matter of copy paste as in download update, download update, and then check system status. And things usually go wrong if you're using very old theme that's not out, you know, updated regularly or it's been coded not according to WooCommerce uh, as in WordPress coding practices. At the end of the day, this is how you meant to update outdated WooCommerce template files.
as long as you have a backup of your theme you should be all good to go get your hands dirty in a sense get in there and update it and then triple check everything if something goes wrong remember whether at rank your youtube channel or rank your blog simply comment and i'll talk with you in the next video session